Lately, we've all begun to experience something that was once unthinkable. Scarcity. The global pandemic has revealed the weakness of many supply chains, whether they span the globe, the continent, the country, or even just the province. From building supplies to computer chips for cars and grocery and produce, it's tough to find anything that hasn't seen some uncertainty. Let's look at one sector, the pork industry. Starting at the barn level, there are the workers that care for the animals. Keeping the animals fed and cared for is something the sector takes very seriously. Even before the pandemic, they were running into labor shortages. Right now, barn operations are juggling hard to keep barns staffed in a way that maintains animal welfare. Then, upstream from the barn, are workers that supply inputs like feed. They're the employees at feed mills and the truckers that bring grain and other ingredients to the mill and then take the feed rations to the barn. While some social distancing is possible, with the highly contagious new variant, it's likely workers even in these locations will become ill. That's a problem because mill operators, truckers, and other skilled workers are in short supply these days. If enough fall ill, it's not entirely clear how the sector will manage. Back in the days when we thought this pandemic would only last a few months, people who questioned whether just-in-time supply chain logistics had become so efficient, so streamlined, and so cut to the bone that they left us vulnerable to these kinds of disruptions were ignored. After all, COVID was an aberration. It'd all be over in a few months. Well, two years and five waves later, it's time to dust off that discussion in the future. Maybe there is room in our supply chains for a little redundancy.